Dr. Neil Martin talks about the new comprehensive stroke center at Geisinger Medical Center in Danville. This is, this is what we call a hybrid award. So this room allows us to do standard surgery, including micro neurosurgery, but it also allows us to do advanced endovascular procedures. So this is a room where patients with an acute stroke are treated. That's often caused by a small blood clot breaking off from your carotid artery, breaking off from uh, a clot in your heart, and washing up into the brain and blocking off the circulation. It's the other one that looks like this back in the back, allows you to look you know, front and side simultaneously. So you can see in three dimensions where you are at any one time. A catheter is put in usually right in the groin area. It's fed up through the rest of the body, up through the carotid arteries, inside the head, and this allows one to image where that catheter is located. And then you introduce a separate um, micro wire with a snare on it. It grabs the clot, and mechanically you can pull it right out of the catheter. When I, when I was training, patients with a stroke like that, we would stabilize them for a few days in the hospital, and then the next step was to go to rehab so that they could deal with and adapt to their disability. Today, as quickly as possible, we give clot-busting medication called TPA, but that doesn't always work. And when that doesn't work, this mechanical brain clot extraction can be life-changing and it can not only treat a stroke, it can abort a stroke, it can reverse all of its consequences. So now, in certain cases, identified by advanced brain imaging, it's possible to go in up to 24 hours after a stroke has occurred and help the patient out. It's important to know what the signs of a stroke are. Right. And we use the term FAST, F-A-S-T, as, uh, as a reminder. Face drooping, arm weakness or heaviness or numbness, speech disturbance, and the T is for time. You, the, the clock is ticking and you got to get to a hospital right away.